what is up? I don't know if I've ever made a video yet about using the Testo Smart Probes. And I've been using them for about a year now. The Smart Probes are the individual discrete probes that you can uh, use one at a time or multiple at a, ones at a time with the Testo app. You can use a smartphone or a tablet as in this case. I also have the Testo manifold set which is with the hoses. Also came with the uh, screw on micron cage, which is uh, nice. The field piece has a built-in micron cage in one of theirs, but it's built into the manifold, which means every time you use refrigerant oil, dyes, or crap from the system is in that manifold that's contaminating your micron sensor. So I think that's actually kind of stupid. The Testa one comes with a little probe that's about the size of this that you thread on anywhere you want, and then it plugs in with the wire to the manifold. I like that one because you can uh, hook it up only once you've been evacuating the system and then you can disconnect it before you add the refrigerant or run the system or whatever. So I like them. So this is the Testo kit, it's about 400 bucks because each one of these goes for about 100. They all Bluetooth independently. You don't need the uh, Bluetooth hub piece or field connector, whatever field piece calls it that you need. Field piece does it to where you connect this one device you have to buy separately to your smartphone or tablet and then all your uh, your field piece devices connect to that whether it's a meter or whatever so uh, the Testo each one of these directly connects to your device you do have to have a device that can connect to multiple Bluetooth devices at a time and most uh, smartphones will do that using a piece of junk old Verizon tablet here you can see here that's set for 410 refrigerant and then you got the pressures and then you and then uh, this is what it correlates to the pressures. Here's your actual probe, so it connected to the pipes. And then it converts, makes the superheat cell probe right there. And then this probe down here is my um, air temperature probe. And if I go to uh, basic view or one of the other modes here, you will actually see that it gives you relative humidity, wet bulb, all that stuff. But using the refrigeration one here, it kind of puts it all on the screen, you know, we're basically checking the uh, motor. There's my air probe right there next to that. Uh, looks like the uh, ultraviolet is burned out on this one. So de definitely different nowadays <laughs> using all, uh, you know, tablets and Bluetooth devices than we used to use 20 years ago. Here's another good reason to have the Bluetooth pipe clamp temperature probes. It's because Something like this old train unit is really hard to get the uh, fluke or whatever type of, you know, pipe clamp thermometer on there. With the Bluetooth, you don't have to worry about getting the wires out of there. You just open the fan, put it down in there, and then just close it up. And run it. Put your uh, probes down there and ready to go.